Okay, so no film study for this one. Just going to be a general thoughts video, although I do have a film study on Kyle Trask already up on this channel, so you can check that out. But I don't know about this pick. I'm a Buccaneers fan if you're new to this channel, but I just... This is kind of a tough one for me. It's not really that I hate going quarterback here. I would have loved Cullen Mond, who I can't believe is not a first or second round pick. That makes zero sense to me. Uh, and I, I don't know. I just feel like with, with Trask, he has such a horrible throwing mechanic. His throwing motions make zero sense. The way he always you know, throws the arm way back before firing. Uh, it's a real issue. And maybe the logic is, hey, let's get him in a room with Tom Brady. Let's give him a year to kind of just fix those mechanics. And maybe they feel, because I, I, I did say in my video about him that there is sort of this project potential of let's, you know, if you, if you do try to basically rework his entire throwing motion, there could be some real upside here. You know, we saw Josh Allen, who he didn't have to, th up th he didn't, he didn't have to change anything, you know, up here. It was more of his legs and rotation, which is, uh, you can do that a lot easier. So it's going to be tough. Uh, and I think that the chances are we probably just got a quarterback that's never really going to amount to anything. Whereas I think with like Kellen Mond, we could have gotten a quarterback who would have had great potential. So it's not the pick I would have wanted to go with here. But again, there is the potential if you can sort of re if you think you can fix him, you think you can fix some of his issues. I do think there is some talent there, and I, and I don't really care too much about well he's slow. Eh, so, so is Tom Brady. Like that's fine. If, if that's the biggest negative, then I don't care. But that's not his biggest negative. He uh, his throwing mechanics are a bit off, and you know. There were some players on the board that I still would have, I would have liked to see them go. Like Tyler Shelvin is kind of the one guy too that I felt like could have used him as sort of a big body guy, could put him next to Vita Vey uh, and, you know, have basically like 700 pounds of human right next to each other. I don't know how you block that. So that would have been a lot better, I think, or go running back. Although I think they could get running back next round, but I just, uh, I don't know. I'm just not the high in Kyle Trask. That's really what it comes down to. So I don't love it. Uh, but you know, at the same time, obviously, I'm going to root for him. I hope hope I'm wrong. And I think that, again, if you can kind of just sort of fix his whole throwing mechanic issue, give him a year, maybe re-sign Blaine Gabbert, have Trash just beat a quarterback three, then cool. Um, I, I have to imagine Tom Brady was aware of this being a possibility, and they like, told him beforehand, hey, we're going to draft a quarterback around two. I hope so, because, like, you know, you don't want to piss off that guy after he just wins you a Super Bowl. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know. Again, you can watch my, my video on sort of the pros and the cons of Trask and, I, and you know, see sort of more of why I'm uh, conflicted on it. But I figured I'd make a video talking about it just because, you know, I am a Bucks fan and it's kind of a big pick. He's the only quarterback to go in round two. Uh, I wish we could have gotten Kellen Mond. That's just how I feel. But, you know, maybe that's just uh, a little bit unfair because I should look at that this in a vacuum. And honestly, it's not a horrible flyer. It really isn't. You know, there's absolutely a chance of it working out. Uh, with, you know, again, he's a project, but hey, he's not going to be starting right away. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.